Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the Safari, uh, an overview of the program. Okay, so um, on the iPad and iPhone and a Mac if you have one, Safari is Apple's web browser. And that's the way that you're going to look at things on the internet. Um, there are other web browsers out there like Chrome from Google, which is a, another one, but we're going to look at Safari today. And it's down here in my dock on the iPad and it looks like a compass. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on it and it's going to bring it up. Now, when it comes up, it's going to show you whatever the last website page was that you were on. I was at the U of M's Learning Abroad Center here, looking at a, a program in New Zealand. My daughter might do. And we're going to focus on this top section of Safari right now because it's really important to understand that. The bottom section, this is, detail, this is data that you're going to see from the internet. Right. Pretty easy, and there it's all going to be different. So you know, depending on the website, depending on the website, right? right? So we can't really show you how to work every single website out there. Um, so we're going to focus focus on the top right now. Um, the first thing that you'll notice, and the most important thing, is this gray box in the center. Okay, right underneath the time. This gray box in the center is showing where we are right now. Right now it says umabroad.umn.edu. That's the website that we're at right now. And it's kind of a simplified version of the actual internet address. If I tap in here, you're going to see the real one. See how long it is? It's got slashes and different words and so on. Um, I can come in here. And I can do a number of different things in this address bar. I can search for something to do a new, or I can type in a web address to bring up a, a website. Um, the other thing that you'll notice that popped up here is kind of being hidden, hidden partially by the keyboard. If I move this, the keyboard goes away for a second. And this is showing you bookmarks. If you have bookmarks that you've set up on your iPad or you've synced through iCloud from a Mac um, to your iPhone and your iPad, they will show up here. I've got some folders, one for Barbara, one for news, one for weather, nutrition, dad, and each one of those contains some bookmarks. And we'll be talking about bookmarks um, in a different tech app or tech bit. Also frequently visited sites would show up down here. And you could pick on one of those. Like if I wanted to go to Facebook, I could just tap here and it would take me right to Facebook. Okay, into my Facebook feed. So that's kind of what's going on in this middle section. Now let's say that we want to go ahead and we want to do something different. So I went ahead and I hit the little X to get rid of the website name and it says search or enter website name right there. So I can go ahead and I can type in something like, I could type in Sync Sisters. It'll come up with a whole bunch of different um, uh, suggestions for you up here. So did you mean Sync Sister, Sync Sisters, Sync Master, Sync Master PX, or on this page, the page that's up right now, do you want me to find Sync Sister? I'm going to go ahead and I can take one of those or I can just hit go and go with what I've typed up there and it'll come up. The Google search is showing us um, what it found. It found our YouTube channel. It found another YouTube channel. It found us in Google Maps. Um, it found our website. It found us on Twitter. It's probably LinkedIn, Facebook and so on. So. Those are all the different things that it found. And we have it set up in um, Safari settings to use Google as its search engine. Um, right. You can change that um, to be Yahoo or a different search engine, and we have that in our tech bit uh, on Safari settings. Right. I just tapped on Sync Sisters website and it brought up our main web page. Okay. And now we've got a couple of different things going on in this top bar. Remember, that's what we're really focusing on. First of all, this arrowhead here on the upper left now is not grayed out. You can see that I can go back. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the back arrow and it brings me back to the search. Notice now that the forward bar is not grayed out anymore because I can go forward. So I can go back and forward using those arrows as much as I want. And you can just 
keep going back. Right, until it's grayed out. So we go back to Facebook, go back again to the U of Men where we started, and now it's grayed out because we can't go back anymore. Right. But we can't go forward. So that's how you can navigate between websites in a single window that you have open. Um, you use this gray area to either search or enter an exact web address. The next thing in here you'll see is a little um, arrowhead in a circle. Oh wait, and, I was going to say oh, something about yeah, typing yeah. in a web address. Yeah. Um, you don't have to type in HTTP colon. Yeah. Um, like all you would have to type in is SyncSisters.com. Right. You don't or, even need the www anymore. Right. Which people think the World Wide Web thing. You don't need right. that. Right. So that's a good. Thing right. to know. Right. So you want to go to Care 11 News, you just type in care11.com and it'll come right. up. That would bypass then the Google search page. Right. Maybe I should show that. Yeah, if you know exactly if the web. If you know that it was SyncSisters.com, you can type in the actual address, not the Facebook though, and go. And it'll come right up to right. that website, not to Google search first. So, right. so if you know the exact address, that's what one you step. Yeah. This button here refreshes a page. So if you if you're having um, problems with the page, something's not working right, you can tap that and it'll go out and reload it. You see the blue bar? I'll do it one more time. See the blue bar? That means that it's loading. Another thing that's happened here, um, there's a nice feature that Apple has. It's called Reader Mode. It's really great for um, looking at news articles because it filters out all of the ads and stuff. And if you go here huh, and tap on that, it puts you into reader mode. It's just like taking the website and putting it into a text format. Yeah. Text and picture. You're reading articles. It's a good yeah. thing to do. Yeah, and you'll see that. Okay. Okay. Um, the share button. Share button here. Well, go ahead and talk about the share button here. Well, we have a different, separate tech bit. That's on that. true. Right. That's right. We do. So that's all we're going to say about that. <laughs> that's, that's it. All that's we all have. you get. We have a separate tech bit on share button, which lets you do different things. Um, the next button is plus. Yep. So we could add a new window. And let's let's take a look at that. Let's look at, do you see here there are four tabs? This one is active. It's white. And you can see a little X by it. These are not active right now, but I can make them active by going to one of them and tapping. Now this one is white and this one is active. This was a search I had done on the Galapagos and I had gone into images and you can see pictures of Galapagos. I want to go back to the Sync Sisters one. You can tap here. So I'm just going back and forth between windows that are open and you might have a lot of windows open. Mm -hmm. And you would, the reason you would mm -hmm. want to do things in these tabs as opposed to, you know, just going in one tab is if you want to keep something open. Right. Like you want to keep the Galapagos open, <laughs> but you want to, you know, go somewhere else. You could do that in a different window. Right. So here I've gone to TripAdvisor and was looking at hotels on the Galapagos. I didn't even know. Are you going there? No, we'll tell you. I was considering Galapagos <laughs> okay. or New Zealand. So right. I was kind of checking it out. Um, so that's why you would want to use different tabs. Right. Now let's say that I'm done with it and I want to close one of these, which is really important. When you're done, close them because we've seen it before where you end up with like, you can have like a hundred different tabs right. open and it's very confusing. So you just go to the little X on the active one and hit it and it closes. And now you can see we have three tabs open. Mm -hmm. Go to the little X. Now we have two tabs open. Go to the little X. We only have one open. Yeah, and I would suggest just doing it all in one tab unless there's a reason you want to keep something up to go back to. Right, exactly. Right. I usually find I have a couple open, but not you don't right. normally need to have more than three or four open at a time. And to do a new tab, you use this plus button yeah. and just go like that, and then it's going to open a new tab. Yep. Or a window. Right. And when the new window opens up, you have, again, your choice, just like you did when you typed up, when you went up here, you have your any of your bookmark folders or your recently visited, frequently visited pages. We just showed you how to use um, tabs and pages on the iPad, and we wanted to show you for a second how to do it on the iPhone because it's different. Um, of course, the iPhone is much smaller than the iPad. So when you're in Safari, like I am right now, uh, you're only going to see one page at a time. If you notice, I don't have any tabs up here to show. And that's just because the width of the phone is smaller. 
So what you're gonna see when you look in Safari on your phone is the page that you're on, which I can see. If you wanna see your other pages or tabs that are open, you'd click on this, little, tap on this little button down here, um, pages icon. If I do that, then you see what comes up, everything else that I have open. So this would be similar to those folder tabs that were on the iPad. On the iPad, right. And so I can scroll through and see everything that I have open. And I can tap on something else. Maybe I want to go back and check the weather. And then that will be open. So that's how you navigate through open things, open pages on your phone. So you can go back and go anywhere I want. Oops, that's not loading very well. Go back to Sync Sisters. As we all should. Right, <laughs> right. And then also notice that when you're in these pages, show them how to close. The X now is in the oh, upper right. left-hand corner. So if I want to close out these, I just tap here. And then and they the close X. out. Then they're, then they're closed. Right. The plus sign at the bottom would allow you to open a new tab from here if you want to. If you want to. And your there favorites. You your favorites will come up. Right. Or your bookmarks. Yeah. And your bookmarks. And, and you then can I just can... pick one and go to it. Yep. And then... The other thing to point out in here is that it also looks a little bit different. The things that we were showing you across the top for the iPad are now along the bottom. So your right. navigating yep. arrows, yep. your share button, your bookmarks page, and your pages. Right. So that's pretty self you know, easy to do. So if I can go back. It's just a little slow. Yeah. Oh, they're oh, nice. Cute. Oh, I don't know. oh, it's <laughs> great. It's great. <laughs> I was oh. like, what was I looking at? Your kids are a little big for those. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right, so that's how you navigate through pages on the iPhone. The next thing is um, the next icon there, the two windows, is called iCloud Pages, and we're going to talk about that in a different tech bit. Mm -hmm. The only other thing we haven't shown is here this is the this book. It looks like a book. That's where you create bookmarks and the reading list and some other things that are coming in a different tech bit. And right below it, you can see a shortcut to my your bookmarks, favorites, yeah. your favorites. So if I tap on the weather one, it'll come up and show me the different weather. Um, sites that I have. Right. And so that's our tech bit and the overview of Safari. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters tech bit. And please subscribe to our channel.